La calée d'un coup, et Maxime Montfort, il n'en pouvait absolument plus. Oui. Et désormais, eh bien, le poids de la course repose sur Andy Schleck. There's no money in the world and no words to to tell him, you know, thank you what he did that day uh, for me. Uh, that day, I gave everything with the with the engine I got from God. <laughs> ah, there was so much to say about that day, but uh, we have to start the story three days before. Andy lost a little bit of time. He was not so good, not as good as we expected. And then uh, Kim come in the room and he say, "Okay, I have a tactic for the Galibier." We had this plan, you know, that Max uh, should go out in the breakaway, you know, to be there when I'm when I'm attacking his wall. When we talk about the tactic, what we, we did, it, everybody said it's it's suicide to do that. So nice, but it looks like it's a PlayStation game. But when Andy came to me, that that was just full gas, so there was no tactic anymore. I had some energy left, so I said, okay, I'll go further. If I look that, I, I feel really emotional about, um, about what he did for me. That's really dedication. He had trouble, you know, to finish the stage that day because he You know, he went so deep for me. It, it was a team victory that day. In the ideal scenario, your friend and leader wins the race and you know this little piece of his win is mine. This little piece is mine, so I'm part of it. And it takes a while to grow up enough and uh, to become mature enough to realize See your friend and teammate winning is as good as winning yourself. The team is, is it's it's your family, especially the guys who are a long time with me and really close to me, guys who are here. Honestly, this is like my favorite camp in the year. A team you just not sit together in in one day, you build it up. We need to be together and to to be friends together, not only colleagues. We know each other for a long time now and we like like you know tease each other and make fun out of each other. I dropped myself to make Andy laugh. <laughs> I'm with you guys. It's a big it's a big difference, you know, when you go I know it's not in every team like this. It's really something something special we have. I remember how Andy came to the team as a Neo Pro and like you know he followed me around and like oh awesome ah huh? oh, yes uh huh uh huh you know and suddenly you realize he's next to you and two years later you go ah oh, I'm working for him because he can win the tour. The pressure will never disappear, but that's something I learned to handle. After last year, I'm really struggling, you know, to to come back on my level. The main problem in that situation is that. Uh, People and the media in, uh, in general doesn't know Andy. You know, I mean, you have a million people, they like pat your shoulders when you're on top. But um, not all of them stay with you when you go through some, some, you know, some bad times. Now that he rediscovers the joy and the fun of, of, of riding his bike, um, that is, I think, a very important step. I'm the leader. And not necessarily winning, but I believe treating treating your teammates with a lot of respect because um, if I also have a chance in the race I work for them The tour it is like a, a, a travel almost in, in a submarine you all enter this submarine which is like the whole Tour de France project and then you submerge it just reminds you how freaking hard it is. Now I'm shit scared again. Everybody is, is watching this, uh, even somebody who, who doesn't know about cycling. I'm feeling better than I ever felt before, and I think if there's someone who can do that, then, then it's me. Not everybody can win a stage, but you know, you still have gotta have people, they're actually almost like the backbone of every team. People just put their head down and just ride until you fall off the bikes. You need these people too so that the stars can shine. Yeah, if you can be part of that, 
it just simply makes you proud to be selected for, for, for this yeah, adventure, you would almost say.